Hey guys, this is Abel with a basic main stage tutorial. Um, I'm going to try to answer a few questions that I've been getting in the last few days, especially about my patches. By the way, if you are a main stage user and haven't heard or got my patches yet, I'm going to add a link below where you can go and listen to the demo. And then if you decide to purchase them, there's also going to be a link that's going to take you to the website. Okay, so the first question I'm going to be answering is how can I use these patches in Logic or in a different main stage concert? Second question, how can I change the tempo of the patch uh, that uses a delay or an arpeggio? And the third question is, is there a way to get the pads to not sustain as long? So uh, if you have any more questions, you can post them in the comments. Okay, uh, the first question, how can I use this in Logic? First, you're going to have to save these patches in your system. And to do that is select the patch and go up here. Okay, I double click on it. Uh, you don't have to double click, but uh, just select the patch and click up there and save as patch. And here you can name it, export, save or whatever. And after that, you can go to Logic. Open a new con uh, a new project and open a um, instrument track, and you're gonna go in the library. And under the user patches, all your saved presets patches are gonna be over here. So that's all my user patch patches. And uh, let's just say, let's call a, a pad. I'm playing both the main stage and the pad. So that's how you do it in Logic. And the other reason to do this is so you can uh, use any of the patches uh, in any concert you want. So just open a, a new concert or a blank concert uh, that you're going to be building up. Uh, and uh, let's just say uh, click the plus button to um, call a new patch. And go under user patches and, and then instrument. And all of your patches are going to be over here. Uh, so do that. That's, that's one thing. The other thing you can do is uh, just save this as channel strip. So you can click over here and save as channel strip and you can name it uh, whatever you want to. So one thing I recommend is save them all in, in all the ways. Uh, save them as patch, save them as channel strip. Also save the effects so you can use it on anything you want. Uh, these are uh, some really cool effects I came out with uh, trying to recreate some of the most uh, wonderful paths I've heard uh, in different worship bands so save this as, as channel strip save as channel strip settings so I won't do that because I already did so you do whatever you need to do okay let's move on to the second question that is how to change the tempo of the patch Okay, select a patch you want to change the tempo. I always double click on them. I, I don't know. And then um, go here and check this little box. You can just double click here and type the tempo you want. Or you can just slide this little circle right here. So, uh, oops. Like I said, you can just uh, type the tempo you want. Okay, before we move on, also the other question I got is how can I adjust the gain so uh, our, our patch doesn't clip? Uh, that's the general main stage uh, question I got. So go here on, on the open the, the instrument and, and look for the volume. What I do is uh, 
set it up like like right there which I think is loud enough and I, and I set most of my patches at the same level so it doesn't jump up when I switch to the next um, to the next patch so what I do is adjust the volume and then save them uh, as the patch so every time I open this patch I call this patch they're gonna be at the exact same setting so that's that the third question is how can I have this patch not to sustain as long so let's go to the uh, let's say shimmer patch right And you see, as you see that uh, it has a really, really long tail. There's two things we can do. We can we can go in the instrument or the reverb. Uh, but first, we can go to the instrument and shorten the release. If we if we have a really, really short one, it's gonna stop right away. So just adjust this uh, as you like until you get it to work the way you want. Um, also go to the reverb, the mix a little bit, lower the density. Lower the room and the reflectivity. Also, if, if it has more than one reverb, do the same thing uh, just a little bit let's see okay let me show you something select a patch let's say this one right here and then click on any knob fader or even the mod wheel and then map parameter and then go to the synthesizer select whatever in this case the envelope and uh, map parameter again so now we are going to be uh, controlling the cutoff see that And uh, but yeah, you can do with it whatever you want. Um, that's one way to do it. And uh, have fun. Um, play one one single note. Play chords. They all do the different things. Uh, you won't believe uh, how different they can sound by just playing them differently. Like I said, uh, at some delay, at some reverb, at uh, do go crazy with it do whatever you want and you'll see you can do a lot with uh, just one pad one patch okay guys uh that's all for today i hope this video was helpful and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do that there's more tutorials coming this month so uh, yeah that's all uh see you in the next video bye now